Um, as we have already discussed, both MVU and uh, MVI are parts of these unidirectional flow approaches. So they are pretty similar to each other. They have just like uh, some little bit difference in terms of terminology, so like terminology, and in terms of how is everything structured. Basically, if you will look at the MVU on the left, MVI on the right, you will see that we have the same like model and views, and they are kind of the same. Uh, we have a little bit different uh, names uh, for the function that basically gets some uh, messages, intents, or updates basically from the app. And in the MVU, you can call it message, and some implementations call it actions or even events. On the VI, it is uh, commonly called as an intent. You can see it on the right. And the function that basically handles this is update on MVU and reducer on MVI. And you can think that, oh, okay, basically, but if uh, are they just like the same things, uh, just named a little bit differently? Mm, not really. As with many uh, patterns, uh, they are quite similar. And the biggest and major basically difference is how do they handle the so-called side effects? How do we handle, how do we get to the network or how do we handle, how do we get into the uh, database for some player? And then view uh, clearly explicitly basically says that, okay, there is a side effect and the side effect, it happens outside of our reducers, outside of our update functions. So basically whenever a feature wants to create something like out of its boundary, it just sends this uh, comment or it just sends this side effect and this side effect is handled by a runtime. And uh, I'll show you a little bit, for example, uh, going forward. But for now, what is important is to understand that, okay, we are talking more or less the same language. So here again, we have our model. And um, if you will look into different frameworks, for example, RIBS, uh, BI Core, and other I mean, frameworks created by different companies that uh, are creating their own MVI frameworks or MVU frameworks, uh, such as Orbit, for example, uh, then you will see that different items are called differently, even if they have the same semantics. So let's say that we will be calling basically these things uh, depending on the, their semantics and not depending on like a particular framework or whatever. And again, usually you can see that a model, sometimes it's called a feature. This is basically a place, a class that has the presentation logic. It usually stores the state uh, that, okay, uh, is loading happens or we show a list of elements and stuff like that. And it works with business logic classes. Again, depending on the implementation, somewhere you will see this business logic straight in the same like model feature class. Somewhere you will see that, okay, uh, this model feature depends on use cases and basically it runs the use cases and the actual business logic happens in use cases. Uh, the part that is almost the same everywhere, that's view. That's basically a class that knows how to represent state to the user. It can be a fragment, it can be activity, again, sometimes it can be a view. The idea is that uh, this view uh, class, it basically gets uh, some state, maybe it is already defined in so-called view state, maybe it will be the generic state, and it just shows it, again, through Android views framework, through Jetpack Compose, and different I mean, stuff like that. The third part, uh, the important part is again the intent, or in some places message, action, event, and basically this is a class, or sometimes that's just like an API uh, that you will see in, in methods, and uh, this intent is usually used when something happens uh, on the app itself or like uh, any input from the user, first of all. And as you remember, the phone basically provides some actions to the app and these actions will be sent in terms of like intents, messages and stuff like that. So for example, subscribe button was clicked. This is a typical intent. And this intent will somehow be getting to the model and model will understand that, okay, my static state is A, I've got intent like save, and here is what should I do, here is what should be the next state and stuff like that. And the last one is basically a comment or side effect. This is something required for business logic function outside of its parameters. So again, getting to the database, getting to the network and stuff like that. 